Extraction method will need deionized water, 7 to 3, acetone methanol mixed with calcium carbonate, 7 to 3, acetone methanol, hexane, and nitrogen gas. Firstly, weight the freeze-dried microalgae. Then, rehydrate freeze-dried microalgae with 2.5 ml of deionized water. Add 40 ml of 7 to 3 acetone methanol which mixed with calcium carbonate into freeze-dried microalgae. After leave it overnight, take the solution to Vortex machine. Vortex it for 10 seconds. Take the solution to centrifuge machine. Make sure it balance with another falcon tube contain water with approximately same volume. Close the inner and outer lid tightly. Set the parameter of centrifuge machine at 9000 revolutions per minute. 5 minutes duration. And 10 degrees Celsius temperature. After centrifugation, the pellet is separated from supernatant. Carefully collect the supernatant fluid into falcon tube. Add 7 to 3 acetone methanol into microalgae palette until 45 milliliters. Repeat the re extraction steps to pellet until supernatant become colorless. Transfer collected supernatant into multiple 50 ml tubes. Each tubes contain 15 ml supernatant. Add deionized water into each tubes of supernatant until 30 milliliters. Add hexane into each tubes until 45 milliliters. Vortex the mixture for 10 seconds. Spin the tubes at 9000 revolutions per minute, 5 minutes duration, and 10 degrees Celsius temperature. After the centrifugation, the mixture will be separated into two layers. Carefully collect upper layer of solution into new falcon tube. Re-extract the lower layer with hexane solution, only by adding the hexane until 45 milliliters. Repeat the re-extraction steps until the upper layer become colorless.
transfer all of the collected upper layer into 500 ml conical flask. Put the flask on the plaster seam. The flask and nozzle are positioned as shown in the video. Open the gas cylinder valve and adjust the air pressure by slowly turn the regulator. Dry until fluids reduces to smaller volume. This may take 2 to 3 hours depending on volume of upper layers. Stop the drying process when the fluid reduces to smaller volume as shown. Transfer the fluid to falcon tube before continuing the drying process. This is the end product from extraction method. Cap the tube and store at minus 80 degrees Celsius, if saponification is not carried out immediately. For saponification, add this following solution into the sample. 40 microliter ethyl acetate. 360 microliter acetone and water with ratio 9 to 1. Four hundred microliter ten percent weight over volume potassium hydroxide in methanol. Close the falcon tube. Shake and leave it overnight at room temperature in the dark. Please note that next steps of saponification must be conducted in the dark. Re-extract the lower layer with 0.1% weight over volume BHT in hexane. By adding the BHT solution until 45 ml. Add 2 ml 10% weight over volume sodium chloride. Vortex the sample. Centrifuge the sample. Transfer the resulting upper layer into new falcon tube. Re-extract the lower layer with 0.1% weight over volume BHT in hexane. By adding the BHT solution until 45 ml. Then, 
vortex the mixture, centrifuge and collect the resulting up layer. Repeat the re-extraction steps until the upper layer is colorless. Next, dry the collected upper layer which is carotenoid with nitrogen gas. Finally, the product is lutein. The extracted lutein was quantified using HPLC system, Agilent, equipped with a reverse phase column C18 with 5 meters particle size, length of 250 millimeters, and inner diameter of 4.6 millimeters. The method employed binary gradient with mixture of acinitrile and water with Russian 9 to 1, as solvent A, and ethyl acetate as solvent B. The gradient profile for the system was developed as followed. 0 to 40% solvent B, 0 to 20 minutes. 40 to 60% solvent B, 20 to 25 minutes. 60 to 100% solvent B, 25 to 25.1 minutes. 100% solvent B, 25.1 to 35 minutes. And 100 to 0% solvent B, 35 to 35.1 minutes. At a flow rate of 1.0 milliliters per minute. Lutein was measured at 447 nanometers, using diode ray detector DAD. Quantitative analysis was performed by plotting a standard graph of lutein, in the range of 0.2 to 0.8 grams per microliter. Where Y is area obtained from HPLC, X is lutein concentration, M is the slope, and C is Y intersect. The lutein content in 1 gram of biomass can be calculated as follows. Rearranging the equation 3.3 gives equation 3.4. The value of M and C can be obtained from the standard curve graph. Substituting equation 3.4 into equation 3.5 yields lutein content in suspended volume. Lutein content in suspended volume is equal to lutein concentration over suspended volume. Substituting equation 3.5 into equation 3.6 yields lutein concentration with relative to standard percentage purity. Lutein is equal to lutein content in suspended volume over freeze-dried biomass used for extraction times 0.959.